Hey everybody, just Gareth here, and uh, today we're going to continue our series on uh, accessibility features on an iPad. So we've already covered VoiceOver and we've already covered Zoom, so today I want to look at a cool little feature called Guided Access. So let's get into it. So going back into our settings on our iPad, if we go to down, scroll down to Accessibility, on the right hand side, we'll see all our voiceover and the magnifier and the zoom, but right towards the bottom, there's a general tab, which has got, it got a couple of features within the general menu. And one of them we're gonna look at, it's called guided access. So what guided access is, it's a way of locking the iPad to a single app. So it's great if kids are doing exams and they wanna use a device such as an iPad, you can lock the iPad just so that they're on that exam uh, and then they'll be able to use the features like the pinch zoom and things like that within that app or within that uh, that web page, for example. Uh, or if you have a kid and you want them to use a certain app in a certain way, you can block it so they say they can only use like Oxford Owls. They'll lock to Oxford Owls and then give them the iPad and they're not going into any other settings. So what I've done is I've turned guided access on I'm going to create a password, set a password code. So this will be the passcode to get out of, of guided access. So 2468, 2468. Just keep it nice and simple for the purpose of this. Go back. You can add time limits to it. I've put it on the accessibility shortcut. So if you remember last time we went through shortcuts and we put uh, the, the triple click comes up with a little shortcut menu. Uh, and we put voiceover and things like that on there. I've added this function to that now as well. So what we'll do is we'll go to a website. So I'll just pick the BBC website and good food. But we'll pick BBC News. It might have a bit more about it. BBC News. Okay. Right. So there's a lot going on on this page. Okay. So triple click. One, two, three, pop guided access on. Okay, so guided access is started. Uh, and you can also set areas in guided access, which I've done there. So a good way of doing that is one, two, three, guided access, two, four, six, eight. And you can circle areas on the screen that you want to disable and take those off. So I might say, oh, within this one here, so you can set the options. I don't want them to click on any of those links there. Okay, and you might say that area there, I don't want them to click next on it yet. And I don't want them to have access to that area there. Resume. And although they can see those, when you click on them, None of those links work and they can't get into those areas within the screen. And then when they finish the exam, one, two, three, guided access, pop the code in, two, four, six, eight, and then you're back to what you press end and you're back where you were. Like I say, nice little simple one there. All right, take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.